Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 Team of the Season player review on my channel. Now, I haven't actually uploaded in a week or so, just because I've been ill, um, but now I'm back to basically 100%, so I'm going to be trying to upload frequently once again. Before we get into this video, I just want to say again, a big thanks for Banny to allow me um, to use his account so that I could make this player review, and as well as that, also thanks for all the new subscribers. Even though I haven't been uploading the past week, I've still managed to gain around 50 subscribers, what is absolutely crazy. So thanks for your continued support. So now looking at team of the season Costa, as you can see in the 47 matches I played with him, he managed to get me 16 goals and 8 assists. So not really the best return, but um, in game he performs much better than the stats do show. As you can see he's got that 99 acceleration, the 99 agility, the 99 balance, um, 99 shot power and 98 long shots. So this guy has all the things I love in a player on FIFA 18 and that is long shots, good dribbling and good pace. Also he has really good stamina so this guy can run all game without getting tired. His composure isn't really the best at 83 but I didn't seem to find it a problem at all. And also this guy's curve shots are very good at 96. So this has been the in-game stats, now let's get into the highlights. So starting off in the highlights, we're going to look at the pros. Now the first pro I could find on this Costa was his dribbling. Now this guy's dribbling is so so good, especially for skilling. He performs skill moves so quickly, changes direction so quickly, and he's also very consistent at performing one of my favourite combos on the game, what is the ball roll step over to running waka waka. So we get a really nice goal there to start off the video. A few off ball dribbling combos, a few running waka waka combos, and then we finish it off very nicely. The next pro with this card was his long shots. Now I don't really score too many long shots in this video. Video, but I took quite a lot of long shots with this card and they all seem to you know hit the crossbar hit the post and we're like 99% of the time on target so I think this guy does have long shots but I think I just needed maybe play a few more matches with him to you know actually get the clips to show it um, and the next pro I got from this card was his pace. Now, as you would expect, this guy is absolutely rapid. He has that 99 acceleration, so we can get to his top speed very quickly. Um, what's very effective when to beat beaten defenders. And also, as you can see, his free kicks are very good. Um, I only had two free kicks. The first one was pretty close, and then the second one, I managed to smash it into the top corner, past the goalkeeper there, who nearly got it. Um, got a slight touch on it, but it's still, it was so powerful that it went into the net. The only con I could find on this card was his strength. Now this guy is pretty weak, not the weakest of players, but he does get pushed off the ball quite often, and that's one thing you need to really look out for. I think him and Neymar are very similar, you know, in the pros and cons. Um, they seem to be really good at, you know, dribbling and scaling, but the strength lets them down a bit. But apart from that, this card is very good, and I'll definitely recommend to go and pick it out. Also, if you can't afford Team of the Season Neymar, I think Team of the Season Douglas Costa would be a really good cheap alternative because they're basically just as good as each other. I would say, you know, Neymar is a bit better just because he has that 5-star weak foot and performs skill moves a bit quicker and smoother. But Costa still is very, very good, and I definitely do think he is worth the coins. So anyway, guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So starting off the overview, we're going to go to the enjoyment rating, and I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Very enjoyable card, very fast, really good dribbling, and all around just a great card apart from that strength. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to give him 8.5 out of 10. Again, it would be higher like a 9 or a 9.5 if it wasn't for that strength. And then scaling, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I would say this guy is definitely one of the best 5 star skillers I've used. He's so good at performing combos. And if you're looking for one of those just fun, creative, fast players, then Costa is the player for you. And then I'm going to give him an overall rating of a 9 out of 10. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 18 Team of the Season player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.